are a dentist. Tell me something. Do wisdom teeth make a person of more wisdom? This is a joke, right? More like a wish. I'll do anything to be smarter. Talking to me will make you smarter. Nice one. Wisdom teeth don't make you smarter. But knowing about wisdom teeth will. Okay, I'll go with that. The wisdom teeth usually appear during somebody's later teens or early twenties. They are the last set of molars to come in. So they save the best for last? Not always. There's often a problem with wisdom teeth. I knew it. There is such a thing as too much wisdom. Actually, the problem is too little space. There often just isn't enough room for these teeth. They come in misaligned. They might be angled inwardly or outwardly. Or lean toward or away from the adjacent set of molars. They can be crowding the other teeth and end up damaging those teeth, the jawbone, and even the nerves. That's really nervy of them. If they lean toward the adjacent teeth, they can cause decay since there isn't enough room to keep the area clean. Not good. All of this may also lead to periodontal disease and also can make your existing teeth crooked. Really not good. Of course, sometimes the wisdom teeth never fully come out, usually because of inadequate space. That's good, right? Not good. This creates a different problem. They stay trapped in the soft tissue. Teeth partly or fully trapped in this soft tissue or jawbone are called impacted. Impacted doesn't sound like something I want. I would think not. For one thing, if partly exposed, it allows for bacteria to enter around the tooth and cause an infection. Those teeth are also more likely to suffer tooth decay because they're harder to keep clean. But if you can't really see the wisdom teeth for example, they may not be out or fully out. How do you know there's a problem? Your dentist will likely take x-rays to make sure you have wisdom teeth and determine how the alignment is looking. The dentist might also have you examined by an oral surgeon. Oral surgeon? I don't like the sound of that. Sometimes they take out wisdom teeth, right? It's actually fairly common. They might choose to remove the wisdom teeth even before they fully become a problem. Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves if we remove the wisdom teeth before they become a problem? Not really. Wisdom teeth are actually easier to remove when someone is young, since the teeth roots are not fully formed and the bone isn't as dense. It still sounds a little scary. Some people feel scared because the teeth are all the way in the back. But really most fear about removing wisdom teeth comes from years ago when, I admit, the way to remove teeth was pretty primitive. And today, removing teeth is not as scary? Dentistry has advanced tremendously over the years. With modern techniques and anesthetics, along with sedation therapy, a fully erupted wisdom tooth can be removed as easily as any other tooth. That's great news. But if the wisdom tooth isn't out yet? It will be a bit more involved. In that case, the tooth may be removed in small sections. In the hands of a good dentist, removing a wisdom tooth is not a problem. If you're still worried, the dentist can offer you some sedation to deal with the anxiety. How fast can someone be back at work or school after this type of surgery? We usually suggest the person should take the rest of the day off, and sometimes the next day as well. But with proper treatment, there's no major downtime or discomfort after the operation. So bottom line, keeping the wisdom tooth doesn't make me smarter. No. You are smarter to remove the wisdom tooth if it is a problem. That was clever turning of words. I do what I can. I like to keep my visit to the dentist regular so that I stay informed about my oral health. If you have not visited your dentist for a while, call your local dentist and get your teeth exam. Prevention is always better and cheaper than cure.